So I'm not gonna sit here and say, everybody's been asking me about my skincare routine because everybody hasn't been, but I did get a question about some basic skincare products that I use and recommend that are sustainable. So I'm gonna share those with you right now. sharing some research and trial-based recommendations that I have for you and by that I mean I've researched these companies websites and I've been using these products for months and found them to be safe effective and sustainably produced I'm gonna share the type of face wash moisturizer sun protection body wash and body lotion that I use with you and I just want to preface this by saying that not all of these products are perfectly zero waste just like with makeup and cleaning products that you might use a glass bottle for with a plastic nozzle. But that's just because that's the best that we have available right now. And I don't know everything that's out there, so if you found something that's perfectly zero waste that has worked for you, please share them in the comments below. I'm always open to trying new products and new ways of doing things. So with that being said, I'm gonna show you some skincare products that I use and love. So before washing my face, I take my makeup off using reusable cotton makeup remover pads and coconut oil. For me, this works really well. I get it at Trader Joe's. It's like the only thing that I buy there anymore because it's in glass and it's super cheap. But I went shopping with my cousin the other day and she's mentioned that she doesn't like using coconut oil because she wears contacts and it tends to get in her eyes and in her contacts and blurs her vision. So she actually uses micellar water, which is literally just water that you don't have to clean off of your skin or anything and it gets the gunk and the makeup off. And we actually got this at a zero waste store that we shop at, but obviously not everybody has a zero waste store near them. So I looked up some other options on where to get micellar water and it's actually pretty hard to find it in a glass bottle. But um, the best thing that I found was that Garnier has micellar water and they actually partnered with TerraCycle. So you can drop off all of your non-aerosol empty bottles there so you can make sure that it gets recycled. But again, that's only if you don't like coconut oil. I use it, I know a lot of people use it and like it. So whatever works best for you, there are some options for makeup remover. So for face wash, I use a couple of different products. One of them is this tea tree charcoal facial soap bar from Meow Meow Tweet. And I also get my lip balm and my deodorant from this company and I love them. I'll link their website in the description below if you want to learn all about them, but basically they're a growing company that uses the least amount of plastic possible for all of their products. They're vegan, cruelty-free, fair trade, and they also donate to several organizations, a lot of them being environmental. So this is the actual bar, and as you see, it's kind of small because I've been using it for months now, but I really love it, it smells amazing, and I just use a towel to clean my face with it. First I use hot water on the towel and then put it over my face for a minute or so to open up my pores before cleaning them out. And then I lather up the bar in the towel and clean my face with it. So after using it, my skin feels super clean and refreshed, but I don't know if it's just my skin in particular, but it tends to dry out with products that have tea tree oil in them. So I started using another face wash product from Mad Hippie, and this is what I was talking about. It's not perfectly zero waste, but it's in a glass bottle, and it's all natural, and it works really, really well, and it makes my skin feel moisturized after using it. I just love it. This is the cleansing oil and it has ginger, organic rose hip, and pumpkin seed oil in it. So this actually works differently than using a facial cleansing bar because you don't have to remove your makeup before using it. It actually works as a makeup remover as well. And I was a little bit nervous to start using this because it is oil and I feel like we're trained to think that using oil on our face is bad, which is not necessarily the case. When your skin gets dry, it actually tries to overcompensate by producing more oils and using oil to cleanse it actually helps balance that dryness out. So there are actually directions on the back up here, which helped me a lot because I had no idea how to use this. And it says to massage a generous amount of oil onto your face, then take a warm, wet washcloth and drape it over your face until it's cooled, and then lightly pass the washcloth over your face to remove makeup and excess oil. And I just love the way that this makes my skin feel because it feels not only clean, but soft and not dried out. But either way, if I use this or the soap bar, I make sure to moisturize, which brings me to my next product. 
which is this Yay for Earth Sensitive Skin Lotion. And I got this from Stevie, who I follow on Instagram, and I know that she cares about the environment and sustainability, so I trust her and the products that she produces. I'll link her Instagram and her website in the description, along with all the other products that I recommend. So her lotion also contains organic oils, and I put about a pea-sized amount on my hands and rub them on my face, both in the morning before putting on my makeup and at night before bed. And this has not made my skin break out or anything. It actually leaves it super moisturized and even more clear than before I started using this. And as you can see, she uses sustainable packaging. This is made from glass and she ships it with peanuts made from cornstarch, so they're completely dissolvable. Highly recommend. Now you can't talk about skincare without talking about sun protection. Now in my last video, I talked about the types of makeup that I used and I mentioned that I use Sweet Leilani foundation. Not only is it sustainable and all natural and cruelty free, but it also contains SPF in it. So I wear this every single day and I highly, highly recommend that you wear a moisturizer or a foundation that contains SPF in it. Again, I'll link their website in the description along with the video that I made about sustainable makeup and zero waste sunscreen. For body wash, I use Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap, which if you didn't know, is one of the most versatile, all natural products that you can find. They're vegan, fair trade, cruelty free, and also support all of these values financially. Their products are made from 100% recycled material. They're found at nearly every grocery store. They're at Walmart and Target. They're a near zero waste facility, which means that they recycle almost everything that's not normally recycled in facilities like that. I still get mine refilled at the zero waste store that I go to, but if you don't do that, Again, this is made from 100% post-consumer recycled material. And if you didn't notice, the bottle says it's an 18 in one use. So you can use it for so many things other than body wash. You can use it to brush your teeth and clean, but I find that it works best for body wash and cleaner. I don't think it'll taste great um, as a toothpaste, but you can. And they also make hand soap and hand sanitizer that's actually good for your skin. So do yourself a favor and invest in products that are actually good for your health and your skin from a company that takes care of our environment. So after showering, I always put on lotion and this is the lotion that I use. It's called Everyone for Everybody. And they're just as impressive, if not maybe a little bit more than Dr. Bronner's because they have an entirely zero waste factory. So they use solar power and they recycle everything, even the things that don't normally get recycled like hair nets and things like that. Everyone for Everybody is one of two brands from the same company called EO Products, and the other brand is EO Essential Oil. They created Everyone for Everybody because they wanted all natural quality products to be widely available and in forms that the whole family could use. And they are. Just like Dr. Bronner's, they're found in most grocery stores like Walmart and Target, and that huge bottle was only like 10 bucks. So if you wanna find out more about their awesome company, I'll link their website in the description below as well. And the reason I keep referencing Walmart and Target isn't because I love those two stores or anything like that, it's because I know not everybody has access to specialty grocery stores or co-ops, but I want people to realize that it doesn't take that to make a huge impact. You just have to be a conscious consumer. So if you could please share this video, I think it would help a lot of people realize just how easy it is to make a huge difference. If you got something out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do so now and hit the bell next to it so you can be notified when I post videos in the future. If you have a favorite skincare product that I have not mentioned that's low or zero waste, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear about what you're using. And as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for caring about our planet. I'll see you next time.